guys, what's going on? Catswag here. Today, I'm going to be showing off the, in my opinion, the best witch doctor build. This is a rabid dog torments finger build. You're going to want a plague of toads, addling toads, because of the confusion, and you also need a rental flare. You're going to want piranhas, wave immunization. You would want this because you're not using any grave injustice, so using piranado with a 16 second cooldown is not really that good. You want a spirit walk jaunt for the survivability and escape. Summon zombie dog, rabid dog. Now this is going to be your damage skill. You can either opt to go rabid dog or burning dog. I personally like rabid dog because of the 30% damage to um, a mob. Burning dogs at T5 and T6 is not really that good. The 20% damage in an AoE is not really that good compared to the 30% damage to a single mob. It's really good against elites, uh, rift guardians, and tanky mobs. You want big bad voodoo slam dance combined with god guy and wrath protector. These two skills will be uh, elite killers and big, you know, damage skills. For passives, you would want midnight feast. This is a must for any zombie dog build. The 50% damage for zombie dogs and gargantuan is really good. Pierce the Veil is if you're not using any mana, and the 20% damage is quite nice. Fetish Sycophants. Now this, you can either choose Fetish Sycophants, or Grave Injustice, or Gruesome Feast, or Zombie Handler. It's really up to you. Fierce Loyalty. Now this one, you can also choose between Fierce Loyalty, Grave Injustice, and Zombie Handler. You can choose depending on your build for the items. You need a Jaram Helm. This helm is crucial for any pet build. You would want a amulet with poison damage, int, crit chance, attack speed, or crit damage depending on your build. You want a bracelet with poison damage, int, vit, and crit chance. You would want a chest that has int, vit, armor, or um, uh, resist depending on your gear, and three sockets. You would want shoulders with int, vit, cooldown reduction, excuse me. Um, zombie dog damage or all resist depending on your gear. You need a Tasker and Theos with either Vite attack speed, crit chance, crit damage, or in attack speed, crit chance, crit damage. I don't have a very good roll over here. Any you would want any tanky belt. I chose this one because of the attack speed and it's easy to obtain. You just have to craft it. You would want a poison stone of Jordan. You would want poison damage, int crit chance, or crit damage, or attack speed depending on your gear. You would want now for the pants. You can either choose any tanky pants in general, or you can choose this pants I have right here, the swampland, the slump, the swampland raiders right here that I have, which gives you poisoned percent damage. You would want a Renho flare to go good with the plague of toes, which makes them seek out and home on their target and explode twice. You want tanky boots and tanky offhand. Doesn't matter which one it is. I just chose these two because I cannot find a better roll. Now for the Peregrine points. You want to put the rest, you want to put anything you have into movement speed until you get 25%. Put the rest into int. Offense, you want to put attack speed, crit chance, or crit damage depending on your gear. You do not need cooldown reduction for this build. For defense, you could either put it into armor, resistance, or life depending on your gear. I have enough life as you can see, and my resistance is around 1200. So I just put it into armor and put the rest into resist. Utility doesn't really matter over here. Life on hit, area damage, gold find, resource cost reduction does not really matter. For a different version of the build, you could have a star metal cookery, and what you would do is you would have a star metal cookery. You would change plague of toads into where is it? Fetish army headhunters because it would reduce the cooldown of all your skills, or not all your skills, but fetish army and big bad voodoo. But since I do not have one, I have to make do with the Renho flare. Now, let's put it into demonstration. Now, this build is pretty strong because you have you have the um, the one zombie dog, which deals a lot of damage. You have fetish sick offense, which deal a lot of damage as well, but the reason why you would want to go a zombie dog damage instead of uh, a zombie dog build instead of a uh, what do you call it, that fetish army build is because torment six and torment five around the high torments where mobs actually have a lot of HP and deal a lot of damage. The fetish arm, the fetishes aren't really that effective. 
they usually get one shotted. They don't deal a lot of single target damage. They are good, but the zombie dog is just better. Now, in my opinion, this is the strongest build. Nothing really comes close to this build. Maybe the Stormer Cookery with Fetish Army. But other than that, this is the strongest build in my opinion. It's just very effective. As you can see, this this little dog over here crits for about 50 mil to 30 mil around that area. And his 30% bite, it has actually does stack. Which does a lot of damage. So for the skills, you would want to probably... You would want to... Just wait for the cooldown to go away. You would want to wave of mutilation, spam your toad, and just let your zombie dog do the work. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Tom. Yeah, guys, so this is a pretty straightforward build. There's not really any secret. You would need the Tom Man's Finger. This is a must. You probably... You Need the Jerome Helm. The Task and Theo and Renho Flare are not needed. You can do it without them, but you need the Tom Man's Finger and the Mask of Jerome. Yeah, I use this bill for T6 and T5. They're pretty efficient. You barely ever die, and the Zombie Doctor just cleans up everything. If you like this guide, please leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys later. This is Catswag. Bye bye.